All right, what's up team? So it's September 12th. Guys, I am freaking out. I have not been offshore since August 4th. Um, this is one of the longest stretches since I've owned my own boats that I haven't been offshore and it might be the longest. I'd probably have to go and double check. So I'm kind of freaking out, um, but I've been able to fill the time a little bit. We've done a couple fluke trips. I've been crabbing a little bit um, and I've really just been going to work. Um, it's really just been work. And when I'm off, the wind's just blowing and I can't seem to get out there. It's really only one day windows. But um, in this video, you're going to check me out. Uh, I ran on Labor Day just myself. I was one fluke short of a limit. Um, it was a last minute trip. I only really was out there for about two hours or so. Uh, so you can see me pounding out the wrecks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, today is September 12th. Guys, Zach and I went out. We took his boat out, the Yojair. We caught our two-man limit, and then uh, we pushed east and actually found some uh, very mini mahi, but uh, they were delicious. So I'm um, getting ready to go ahead and eat some fresh fluke now. Guys, as always, if you're digging those videos, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that bell down there to the right, and uh, hopefully on Sunday we're going to get back out sword fishing, if not maybe even an overnight trip. So hopefully I'll get you guys some more offshore footage, and uh, as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. and. Uh, We'll see you. Adios. Oh man, what a ride out here. I'm in the little boat. I'm about nine miles out. Uh, the swell from uh, Hurricane Dorian started to fill in and it's been blowing northeast for the last several days. So there's a wind swell on top of that. So needless to say, I got my butt kicked getting out here. So we'll see if we can uh, get some fluke. I'm in 55 feet of water uh, over a little, um, I believe it's a barge. So uh, I'm just going to be using a simple bucktail rig so it's kind of like a tap dancer rig so uh, we're gonna put on some gulp and see what we can't catch here man it's nasty out here guys it really is nasty out here gulp on that bottom one I'm gonna put a gulp on the bottom plus a piece of squid and then uh, on the top one just gonna do gulp I got the trolling motor going as well. Um, it's pretty rough out here, so it's gonna be tough, guys. But hey, let's see what happens. This is my first first trip ocean fluking. Oh well, it's my first trip ocean fluking this whole season. The weather has just been horrendous. Some real nice, big, long strips of fluke uh, squid. And uh, go from there, guys. Today I have a just a star rod. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Medium action rod. This is a uh, Shimano Calcutta 400 series. I haven't used this in a while. And again, there's the rig. It's basically just the top and bottom. Smaller bucktail up top. Bigger bucktail on the bottom. Oh yeah, guys, that's a good one. Oh, he came off. Oh man, oh that was a nice fluke guys. Oh, come on Chris. All right team, let's try that again. That was a good bite man, that, that one felt like a good fish. I haven't been fluking much at all this year so I may just be <laughs> way off in my uh, assessment but certainly felt pretty good. Again, I'm just gonna do real short drifts today guys. Just you know, you don't want to just sit out here and do a whole lot of nothing. You want to move around a lot, you know. Should be sea bass out here too. Goal is fluke. So we'll see. Stroke me, stroke me. Stroke. Stroke. That's a flukert. Little guy, but that's a flukert. At least it feels like a flukert. Hey, desired species. What's up, little dude? All right. Get you off of here. Get you back. Bye bye baby. Alright. Hit the top hook there. Huh? You know, you know. 
I think somebody hit it on the on the drop. They did. They hit it on the drop, dude. Are they still on there? Now he dropped it. That was cool. He nailed it on the drop. He's whacking it again. Must be a sea bass or something. So guys, you can see right here with my left hand, I'm kind of using the uh, controller to tell the trolling motor to go into the wind and uh, into the current, or against the current, I should say, just to slow the boat down. Had I not been able to do this on this day, I probably would have had to use six to eight ounces of weight just the whole bottom, and we'd really just be flying over the structure and really just snagging. So um, really key this day, having the trolling motor again. You can see me kind of playing around with it there. Um, there's other functionalities to it. Um, Today with Captain Zach, we used um, the autopilot mode, which was really cool. Uh, so uh, I just got to get a little better at using that sucker. Oh, yeah, I got him, guys. I got him. That's a fluke. Feels small again, though. Yeah, he's a little guy. It's all right, man. They're here, guys. Hey, little dude. What's up, bud? What are you doing? All right, they're digging a, they're digging the top one, huh? Spite, spite. Come on, eat it. Oh, he's back. All right, got another one, guys. Man, they're here. It's just, uh, we gotta find some bigger ones, I think, you know? They don't leave fish to find fish. Oh, look at that. Sea Robin. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What's up, little dude? Get you off. Hey, bud. Uh, guys, those are real good bait sometimes. Um, I just don't feel like cutting them up. I'd rather let them go. All right, guys, that's a good one. If that's a fluke, that's going to be a good one. I'm pretty sure. If that's a fluke, that's a good one. I'm almost positive. Slow and steady, baby. Slow and steady. Ah, it's gonna be close, I think. It's close. Pretty sure that's our first keeper, guys. See you guys. My measure? Oh yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Yep. Duh. 20 inches. Dude, guys, they're really hitting the, uh... They really are liking that, uh... The, uh... The top one, boy. Yeah. They really are digging that top one, you know? Yeah. God, it's so rough out here, guys. All right. Nice flukert. Take it. I'm just gonna throw them right in the live well. Dude, guys. I knew that was going the second I set the hook. Um, pumped, man. Really cool. I'm just doing these short little drifts. Um, literally 300 feet is my drift right now. So guys, this little jig, this is a... So the bottom jig is a two ounce. The top jig is three quarter ounce. And what I'm doing is putting this five inch chartreuse scope on that top one. And uh, that seems to be the ticket. That's what the uh, flukerts are liking today. Pumps. Oh man, I just got nailed. Come on, baby, eat it. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. That's a little dude. Man, he nailed it, that dude. Hey, little guy. Hey, little dude. Let's try not hurt this guy. Look how pretty they are, guys. Okay. There you 
Yes. All right. <clears throat> Full jerk. Desired species. Moon baby. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a good one. That's a real good one. That's a good fluke right there, guys. Pretty confident that's going to be a good one. Hopefully, it's a fluker. That's going to be a decent one. I just mellowed out a little bit. Felt good. Ah. Nah, maybe not. Might be close. Felt good initially, huh? Measure him. Probably like 17. Yeah, he's like 16 and a half. Trying, just get that hook. And off he goes. Another one, guys. Let's see, it doesn't feel real big. They've been fooling me. You know? Well, he's not small. Oh, yeah, he is. Hey, little dude. Very cool looking. Probably like 17. Seventeen and a half. Close. Alright, bud. Alright. Get you off. Get you off. All right. Tell you what guys, you gotta be right on that structure. Or you're not getting bit. That's crazy, you know? I mean, right on it. Oh, there's a good bite. Come on, baby, eat it. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Pretty confident. That's a good one. Pretty confident. That's a good one. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Definitely not. Right species, wrong size. Man, guys, there's lots of fluke here. They're just small, you know? All right, team, so uh, kind of dried up there and mostly smaller fish at that last spot. So I pushed one reef north, um, similar depth. It's a little bit deeper. Um, it took me forever to get here. It's just really pretty rough out here. Um, so we'll see, guys. I got but I got something <clears throat> that was instant guys as soon as I dropped down there that was cool no idea what I got it's got to be a sea bass right <clears throat> I thought I was snagged but he was there fluke look at that guys dropping right down fluke so cool try that again so guys, I'm not even drifting. That's really neat. <clears throat> I actually have the spot lock on and um, I just dropped down <clears throat> and gave that a couple of jigs. So, <clears throat> they may be here. Kind of right on the edge of it. So, flip back a little. You know, I'm situated over the rack right now. So, I think I'm flipping towards the tail end of the, the rack 
and uh, just kind of jigging it back. <clears throat> so it's fluke, they like to hang in the sand kind of just off it sometimes. <clears throat> Check this out guys, I'm literally anchored, basically jigging on this rack and I got another fluke. Check that out dude, it's actually a decent one. <clears throat> Check that out guys, I'm literally anchored, fluking, look at that, that is so cool. Just goes to show you, you gotta be right on the stuff guys. <clears throat> That's, that's keeper. Yeah, that's keeper. Oh yeah, 19. So guys, that really goes to show you, you know, these fluke, man, they, they hold tight to that structure. Um, I'm literally using the spot lock mechanism um, to stay over this one rack. And I'm literally just dropping straight down and, and jigging a little bit and, uh, and I'm getting them. I'm not drifting. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's our second keeper of the day. Um, one more guys, we got our limit. Pumps. Oh god, yeah guys. Look at that. Boom, he nailed it. He walloped it, dude. That is so stinking cool. Another fluke. Little dude. Bud? That is so cool, guys. He's eating it. He's eating it. Come on, baby. Eat it. Come on. All right. Come on. Eat it. Come on. There he is, guys. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. If this is a fluke. It's a nice one, guys. I know I've been saying that all day, but pretty confident this time. Oh yeah, that's a fluke. This is gonna be a good one, guys. You watch. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a foul hooked fluke. Oh, I foul hooked him. <laughs> Thought he was big. I just foul hooked him, that's all. Sorry, bud. Sorry, baby. All right. So I got my dead stick rod just off the bottom. Cause it was fluke. Just because they're bottom feeders, look, look at that, getting nailed already. Just because they're bottom feeders doesn't mean they won't come up high. They're pretty ferocious predators, you know? So we'll see. Look, it's just getting nailed, look at that. Those are probably sea bass. I don't think we have much more time, guys. It's getting awful snotty out. Getting awful snotty here, guys, you know? Well, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, it's just way too rough out here now. I'm almost falling off the boat, so. <laughs> Fun day. Um, I didn't even think I was gonna go fishing today. I thought I was gonna surf, but uh, I woke up and just decided to go fishing last minute, so. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe. More videos coming. We'll see you. <laughs>